Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. In today's video, we will continue testing out a cream nail polish. Will it ever replace gel polish? In the fall season, clients ask for coatings with various effects – magnetic, cat eye, and so on. Today, I will share with you some new products, so watch till the end and let's get right into it. Here are today's gorgeous nails. I love this design, so removing it is hard. These nails lasted for more than one and a half months. There is only one crack. Remember these clippers from a drugstore? They cut down the nails in seconds. Just make sure not to get on the hyponychium, so as not to damage it. Now I remove the coating and all the decor elements. For this purpose, I normally use a green carbide drill bit. Today I will extend these nails in you using gel tips. They are disposable and both plastic and hard. So, even a beginner nail tech can ace this quick extension technique. We just need to prepare the nail plate first. Remove the fridge completely, otherwise it won't look good. Now mat the surface lifting up nail scales using a 180 grit nail file. To avoid liftings in the cuticle zone, I clean up the pterygium with a diamond flame drill bit. I process the left sides in the forward position, the speed is 15 to 17,000 rpm. My model's cuticle is fine, so I'm using a red drill bit. Now I clean up the right sides in the reverse position. I'm cutting the cuticle with scissors, trying to make a uniform cut to avoid hangnails. In case there is still some skin or pterygium left after the cut, we can always touch it up with a knee file. We can also polish the cuticle with the drill bit, then the manicure will last longer. I've got some new products by the brand Runeil. And the first item are these gel tips – natural milky and long clear ones. A cosmetic oil for nail plate treatment, my favorite milky gel that I always ask them to send, a new oval brush for a better application, their new gel polish collections, Cat's Eye and Shimmeria with reflective pigments, and the cream lac gouache. Let's watch the colors. This one is the most popular. It's chameleonic, so at different angles it looks pink or orange. We can form a vertical cat eye line with a magnet. And there is also a round one on the other side, for a different shape. For example, a curved line. So using different magnets we can create various effects. I wish the camera could show all the depth of this color. This silver one looks plain at first, but a magnet changes the game. This light color with Yuki Flakes looks really nice. 
It's silver while the flakes are golden. Other shades are also really pretty. To prepare the nails for sculpting, I apply a primer for better bonding. My model's nail plate used to be overfiled, so there are still red areas on the surface. But after two recent manicures, the nail plate growth looks normal. I do a thin layer of a plastic base coat and cure it. I want to use the shorter tips to file less. I need to find the right size first, but there's a problem. These forms have got flatter arches than natural nails do. These particular nails are very arched, so let's try different tips on. Well, these fit better. So that means that one should have various forms in store. To make sure that there is always the right size. Not all of them are universal. I bend the tips at this point so as not to tear them off. And then I remove them all at once. We can see that the tips are matte on the inside. So there is no need to file them. Now I decrease the tips on the inside and go with the same base coat. I set up the tip on the index nail. It grows downward. So there is no way to set up the form with no air pockets. They will appear either on the free edge or in the cuticle zone. So I will keep this lifting and file it out later. The middle nail is twisted. So I fix its growth pattern with the tip until it fits. We can hardly see the transition here. My model helps me to cure it using a portable lamp. Just a few seconds here and then a final polymerization. Now that we're done with the setup, we can trim and decrease the nails. And file the transition with the green carbide drill bit. Be careful at this point. Make sure not to overfile the nail plate with the tip. Gel tips are super easy to file, given that they are hard enough. Now I shape them into almonds. These tips are supposed to last well and protect the nail plate. I tried them out on my own nails, and they lasted perfectly. They also look really natural. I decreased the nail plate, and now I need to build up the cuticle zone a little. I will be using this amazing camouflage bottle gel. I love using colored bottle gels as well. Those are medium and self-aligning. So, they are perfect for nail techs doing an alignment with base coat. The technique will be the same. I align the coating with a thin brush. We can always clip the nails if they get too wide. Moving on to the color. I will be using this cream leg gouache. It's perfect for painting swirls, lines, and doing a full coverage. It is super opaque. I'm using a separate brush and the first layer may seem too thin and that's totally fine due to the brush. Then we add some more, and actually not much is needed. The coating aligns perfectly, and with two layers it will be opaque, but without any excess volume because the layers are super thin. 
just mine the application and make long moves from the cuticle to the free edge. But don't touch the free edge with the brush. To spice it up, we decided to add this cat eye gel polish. This one is with blue and silver shimmer. I do one layer and use a round magnet over it. Let's do a moon-shaped highlight on both nails. This cat eye gel polish looks amazing. Now let's cover it up with a non tanky top coat. And top of the manicure with this live in oil. Since it's fall and our nails need extra care. This oil will moisturize and sanitize the cuticle. And here is our before and after. The nails look super natural and the coating is deep and defined. So we have tried out all the new products – gel tips, cream lac and cat eye gel polishes. And I think they look great together. If you like them too, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.